India's maritime territory and boundaries with the neighboring nations could increase, as the government is looking at adopting new international standards on how the baseline exact coordinates of the seashore are calculated. A Jaguar fighter jet of the Indian Air Force crashed in Gujarat last night, during which one pilot managed to eject safely, and the other pilot succumbed to his injuries. A completely new submarine manufacturing complex near Cochin shipyard is now ready to commence production of 13,000 ton S-5 class next-generation nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. Dynamatic Technologies has outsourced the production of composite materials for the Tejas aircraft front fuselage section to adjust to composites. The DRDO held the metal cutting ceremony of the Advanced Armoured Platform Wheeled and Tracked at the premises of Bharat Forge and Tato Advanced Systems. Kirloskar Royal Engines has secured a 270 crore rupees order from the Defence Ministry for the design and development of a 6 megawatt medium speed marine engine for the Indian Navy and Coast Guard. Indian Air Force has signed a contract with Bharat Electronics worth 593 crore rupees for the maintenance of Akash system. India and US held the opening ceremony of Tiger Triumph Tri Service Exercise 2025. The Indian Navy has started sea phase of Indra 2025 exercise with the Russian Navy. Indian Air Force's Tactics and Air Combat Development Establishment has deployed its Mirage 2000 fighters to mimic the Chinese J-10, to prepare its pilots to counter the enemy aircraft in realistic combat scenarios. Kaliani Strategic Systems has entered into a joint venture agreement with Spain's Duma Engineering with 90% stake, to expand its defense business into European markets. The CEO and chief designer of US-based Stavati Aerospace has offered its Mac 4 capable SM-39 Razor 6th generation air dominance fighter concept to the US Air Force and Indian Air Force. Stavati is a privately held aviation company, and has no record of aircraft manufacturing, but Stavati Aerospace has purchased a former US Army Reserve Center located near Niagara Falls, that will serve as a prototype development, and low-rate initial production center. It has claimed that the SM-39 Razor will be powered by variable cycle engine, and will be capable of air dominance interception and all-weather strike missions. The metal cutting ceremony for the advanced armored platforms wheeled and tracked was held in Pune at the premises of Bharat Forge and Tato Advanced Systems Limited, and its rollout is slated for October 2025. The Advanced Armoured Platform is a collaborative project between DRDO and its industry partners, and it is a state-of-the-art infantry combat vehicle class system, that is designed to enhance the Indian Army's operational capabilities with both wheeled and tracked variants. After the chairman of Godrej Aerospace and Larson and Tubro, the chairman of Kalyani Group has said, that there is a need for private sector companies to unite in a collaborative effort to co-develop a 110 kN thrust engine for the AMCA program. He also added, that a consortium of private sector companies should be created, that will pool in their expertise and resources to tackle the technological challenges of the engine. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has said, that the next-generation lithium-ion battery packs designed for Calvary-class submarines are currently in the testing phase, and once the battery system proves its reliability on a submarine test bed, it will be ready for mass adoption across all new submarines planned for the Indian Navy, that will provide superior energy density, longer operational life and faster recharge times, making them a game-changer for submarine endurance and performance. Today's Top 3 Comments